Hey guys, today we're talking home power systems. We're talking about all the different options that you can use to set up your grid within your house. We're also going to talk about the best options for your area. What's going to be the most cost efficiency? What's going to be the cost of setting things up? And what's going to make the most sense for you? Let's get started with a standard grid system. A standard grid system is whatever the electric company is providing within your area. Basically, you're at their mercy. Whatever they're providing you, they're going to run the system directly into your panel box. So there's no initial setup cost, but basically they can charge you whatever they want. The efficiency and the reliability is going to be high. They do have many, many customers in every single area. So basically, whenever power goes down, they're working hard to restore the power for you. You're not just relying on yourself to reset up your equipment or anything like that. So the reliability is high, but like I said, you are at their mercy as far as the cost goes. Another option that you could look at for your home power source is by using a generator as your main power source. This is typically used in smaller homes, RVs, or maybe single room homes. Um, to be honest, the, the setup cost is going to be very low. You're just going to need to purchase the generator and wire it into your panel. Um, and the efficiency and reliability are going to be high as long as the gas is available. As soon as you run out of gas, though, you're going to be out of power. So you're going to have to keep a reserve on hand. Now, although the value is, hot, is good because it's not expensive to set up, the value necessarily long term is not so good. It's going to be costing you a lot in gasoline. Gasoline is not cheap. And the cost per kilowatt hour is going to be much, much higher than if even if you're using just a standard grid power. Most people are only relying on generators as their main power source is if grid power in that particular area is not available. Another option for your pow home power system is your a wind turbine system. Um, this is not as popular, but it is gaining popularity over time. Now, as far as this being a reliable system set up for you, it really depends on the area that you're at, as far as the placement that you're at, as far as what type of wind, based on the placement that you're going to be able to put the turbines. So, I mean, the initial setup cost is very high at this point. Um, the actual power that you're going to be able to pull in, it's so based on your area that it's probably not the best option, but it's something that you could look at if you're living on an area where there's a lot of wind, possibly on a hill, where it could make sense. Another system that people are using, and it's much more common, depending on your area, if you're in an area with high solar exposure, it's a solar power system. Uh, basically, it's just setting up solar panels wired in with a charge controller and power inverter that runs power to your batteries, charges up the batteries, and then you run your grid directly off battery power. With the use of lithium batteries, this could be an excellent option depending on your area. If you're in an area that has a high solar exposure level, uh, the solar array that you might need might not be too large, so the initial setup cost might not be too high, and then it could become a very reliable and efficient source of power depending on the area. So another thing to look at is when you're setting up your system, once the system is set up and you pay for all your solar panels, you've paid for your charge controller, you've paid for your power inverter, and you've set up your battery bank, now the savings could become unlimited. You could be running completely off-grid, no reliance on the electrical company, no monthly bills, and just savings after savings after savings. Although this is not necessarily the perfect option for everyone because it's very much based on each person's area. Now let's take a look at a hybrid solar panel system. I think this is going to be the best option, the best way to save money for most of you guys out there. Uh, what it is basically is a full-blown solar panel system set up within your house with a battery bank, with a charge controller, with a power inverter, everything all set up, but also having the option of the grid power as well. Certain areas like Nevada and Arizona, you might be able to pull 90, 100% of your electricity from the solar exposure, from the panels, and run all your electricity, leaving your electric bill at zero. Certain places, that's not going to be possible. You're going to pull in as much solar exposure as possible, charge up your batteries, run off your batteries, but as soon as the battery power is lost, you don't want to have your electricity lost. You need to still run your electricity, your heating, and your power. So in these instances, you'll be able to rely back on the electric company to restore your power, to keep your power running at all times, and this way there's never any power loss. You'll still have the good savings you know, from what you stored from your solar panels when solar exposure was available, and this way you'll have the reliability of staying up with power at all times. The last form of home power system is going to be a geothermal system. We're just going to touch on this very quickly. Basically, the setup and cost of the initial setup is 
very, very high at this point. The efficiency levels are not really where we want to be. And the value is not going to be there because the cost of the setup is never going to outweigh your savings. So at this point, it's not really an option. But I mention it just because, you know, some people are starting to set those up. And uh, we'll keep an eye on that to see if the reliability goes up and the cost maybe comes down a little bit. That's pretty much it, guys. We looked at all the different home power systems. Uh, basically, what we're recommending is a hybrid solar panel system. You know, this way you'll always have power. You know, you'll be relying off of the grid which is very high in reliability. You're also going to have a solar panel system, which solar panel systems have come way down in cost. Solar panels are cheap. Charge controllers are cheap. Power inverters are cheap. You'll have to set up a proper battery bank system. You're going to want to have enough stored battery power to try and save as much on your electric bill as possible. Try and get that electric bill as close to zero as possible. Once the electric bill gets to zero, you're not at the mercy of the electric company anymore. So whatever they're charging, it'll really be out of your hands. You'll be off grid and you'll be saving money every month. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us. We're at powerinverters.com. We can walk you through any type of system that you might need, all the equipment. We're happy to help, so contact us for more information.